Anime is just one of those mediums that can whip the cringe out of you, especially in the romance category, and I just happen to love it. This one also is no exception. I just watched Sing yesterday for me, and it was, well, it was... Let's we'll get to that. There is a lot of good and a lot of cringe to this anime. Here's the plot. Two 30-something-year-olds are estranged friends from college that kind of have some romantic tension, except the girl in the equation, Shinako, uh, she is was dating a guy in high school that died, but it's not really clear if they're actually dating, and his younger brother is in love with her, even though he's in high school right now and she's not. Uh, okay, so there's that, and then there's Rico, the guy who, he once he got out of college, he kind of didn't see a whole lot of purpose in his life so he just started kind of working a simple job at a combini and was you know he's just chilling and he also has a high schooler that happens to be obsessed with him that also has a pet crow so there's that why does she have a pet crow why do anime girls always have like things like pet crows i don't know it's cringe but it's fine. it's fine. I'm not that upset about that. It's it is what it is. Anyway, Haru was upset or what was obsessed with uh, Rico because of some happenstance of them walking past each other and he happened to be nice to her. I'm not really sure. But yeah, she's supposed to be a high schooler right now, but she dropped out. So I think she's about like the age of a third year and she's obsessed with him. Why do they have to be high schoolers obsessed with like 30 year olds? I don't know. But this is our story. Okay. I will say, seeing yesterday for me does do the kind of the issues within relationships, kind of the feeling of validation or needing affirmation or moving on from the past really, really well, uh, especially if you've ever been in that point where you just don't feel like you're worth dating somebody, I guess. They, they capture that feeling in a moment very, very well. The music is good in this also to kind of supplement that. The characters are all well, really well written and they're very like outward about what their goal is what they're seeking to achieve which does make it kind of interesting because you know they're kind of just always at each other's throats to fall in love with each other if that it makes sense in any way i guess maybe the problem that i had was just that you know i kind of like i could have just seen this being like why can't the other characters that are interested with the like 30 year olds have been like 21 like why do they got to be like 17 or 18 i like I don't know. I guess maybe that's just part of what makes it unique. But uh, so, yeah, the story does have a good flow. It does move on very well. I will say the very best part about this anime, though, is that the scenery is on point, dude. Like as somebody that just came back from Japan uh, a couple months ago, I've missed it <laughs> so desperately. I want to go back as soon as possible. And this show captures just everything from like the streets to the signs to the konbini that the main character works in and just like magazines, advertisements, everything so, so well. And it was just like, it was the perfect thing for me to find to kind of help me through like <laughs> my absolute <laughs> sadness from missing Japan. We're going to get to a uh, spoiler alert. I fully thought that the, you know, the 30 year olds that were strange friends and had the romantic tension were going to end up together. And in the end, they, they, they do for like an hour. And then they go and each uh, date those high schoolers that were interested in them. Whoa, why, why, why? Oh, am I crazy? Like, why is this, is, is this like, am I the one in the wrong here? Is this a big deal? Like, does it matter to anybody else? I just don't know. To me, it felt like, I just like I maybe maybe the here's the thing maybe the show was so well written and the manga was so well written that like I was so invested that I just it just didn't but it just didn't turn on my way and that's life right so that could be it um but either way I kind of found the outcome a little cringe and then once it happens it's kind of just like okay they're dating high schoolers bye that's the end of the show and yeah I don't know let me know if I'm wrong in the comments I'm fully willing to accept that Anyway, though, I would say it still is a really good anime. It's super worth watching. The characters are well written and used very well. And every the, again, the scenery and the music is just amazing. So yeah, check it out. Like this video if you love anime. Subscribe if you really love anime. And uh, until I have something else to talk about, I'll see you later, okay? <laughs>